Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brills, and everybody go check out Shizzy Lit Podcast on Spreaker.com if you are rock with your boy when he go live. But you can also catch me on any of your favorite streaming platforms. I'm everywhere, baby. Shizzy Lit Podcast, Shizzy Lit Vlogcast 2021. Holla at me. Yeah, dig. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit Podcast, you understands me. We still on our Wu-Tang saga continuing and shit, you feel me? I think it's coming to an end now because they talking to the Abbott. If y'all ain't Wu-Tang fans, y'all don't know who the Abbott is, go kill yourself, goddammit. The RZA. RZA Raptor. Yeah, me, Bobby Steele. She understands me. The motherfucking Wu-Tang beat maker creator. You know, feel me? Him and Noy chopping it up. He he informing and educating Noy on the motherfucking Wu extensions and shit. I mean, you know, the Wu affiliates and shit. You dig me? You know what I mean? They all Wu to me. You understand me? They up under that motherfucking W. You mean? You accepted by the motherfucking main 10. You accepted by me. I ain't going to say it again. You understand me? So, you know. Sometimes niggas be ignorant and just speaking on shit they don't know about. And then you know, me, instead of arguing all that shit, you sit a nigga down and motherfucker educate him. That's what the Abbott does. You know, feel me? That's what the Rizzo been doing for niggas for 25 motherfucking years. Educating niggas and, and heightening niggas thought process. So, you know, why wouldn't he continue to do it and shit? You know what I mean? So he's sitting down there and telling them about all the origins of all the woo affiliates that niggas might ain't know about and all that shit or might have heard name of or mention of and shit and ain't really hear nothing about them and shit it was about a billion woo niggas and this you know feel me it's a whole chinese set of woo niggas over there you feel me over in china and shit so y'all best stop playing around anyway i'm gonna let y'all hear this shit because y'all know that's what we do shizzy lit podcast we stays lit you notice that woo shit you know feel me i'm gonna let y'all hear what the fuck going on i'm gonna get back with y'all later on y'all know the model uh, here we go I want to just go through some of these names, and okay. you tell me, like, when the Wu-Tang Clan blew up, Shaheem the Rugged Child, Sons of Man, Killer Army, Nine. Okay, hold on, slow down. Shaheem the Rugged Child actually had a record out before Wu-Tang Clan, and Shaheem was one of the youngest people in the history of hip-hop to get a record deal. Uh, mm. He got a record deal with Virgin. He had a song. He actually pioneered a lot of the young minds uh, who, who were striving to get on. So Shaheem... You know, he ended up, you know, going through the system and, you know, getting locked up and all that. But, right. you no, know, Shaheen was a dope MC. And uh, if, if anything, people should respect Shaheen. The same way you can respect Laura Finesse. You know right. what I mean? Because right. he was 13, 14 years old with a record, a video. And trust, yo, and people was on his dick. Right, right, right. He was nice. He, I, I remember up. y'all brought him to KML and he was busting. And we was looking at him like, this dude is nice. Look, Shaheen's on a song with Jay-Z, Daddy Kane, and ODB, yo. I mean, Sha- yeah. I'm just saying, don't, don't, you know, so anyway, Shaheen, then who else lost you? said Sons of Man? No, no, but I, I guess what I'm asking is, I mean, this is, I mean, you put out, the question is, all these crews that started coming out, now me getting to know you in the early 90s myself, I knew that, you had to have a hand in all these things coming out. But the regular public didn't know if these were Wu-Tang members, not members. It, were they just profiting off your name? Were you affiliated with, with these guys? Right, and so let's I, go through the names, and I'll tell you. Sons of Man, yep. that's family as well. Sons of Man, one of the members of the Sons of Man is my cousin, 62nd Assassin. And there once again, is. you heard Jay-Z yell out 62nd Assassin because 62nd was a dope MC from Brooklyn. Okay. Right. A uh, prodigal son, Killer Priest. Right. Uh, Ooh, and, Killer and they, Priest was nice, bro. 
Still a priest was part of Sons of Men. Yeah, yeah. He, and they had a gold, yo, they got a gold record. They got a record, they went out, they made a gold record. So whoever, going gold is not an easy task. Right. Some of, some of your favorite rappers never made it gold, all right? So they had a gold record in Sons of Man. We got to give them respect because they also helped pioneer a lot of 90s hip-hop uh, vocabulary, yeah. styles, all that. You know but, what I mean? But, I never forget when I came to L.A., my man Sam Sneed was like, yo, Prodigal Son, his, that, voice is, that boy is crazy. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. So anyway, but they came, But these are all through you, right? Like in other words, you knew these was this was happening, or did you stamp these? Did yeah, you... yeah. These are yeah. Sons of Man was signed to Wu Tang Records. Okay. Shaheem was Shaheem was my student. He used to be in my crib, you know, stealing my rhymes before he started writing this rhyme. So Shaheem is family. Him and my little brother Ninth Prince. So Ninth Prince is part of Chiller Army. Chiller Army. Uh, another group that came out on Wu Tang Records. Right. So you know they didn't make a gold album, but they definitely sold about three, four hundred thousand copies. Very profitable. Uh, it was um, Night Prince, Chilla Sin, right. uh, Don Pacino, and Shogun the, Shogun the Assassin. Yeah, those they were signed to my label. They was you know they was they was representing. Dope, man. So I'm going to go through these. So Killer Army, you explain. Ninth Prince, you explain. Lot of Dark Man, Royal Fam, and Wu Syndicate. Okay, a lot of Dark Man is was connected to my brother Tyreef, right? So he, um, I think La came from Sacramento, but La was kind of more rolling with Raekwon's team. Gotcha, you know what I mean? Gotcha. But but yeah, but he was signed to Wu Tang Production uh, as well. Roy, so, Royal Fam and Wu Syndicate. Okay, Royal Fam out of Brooklyn. So Royal Fam is an interesting story. That's Timbo King. So Timbo King is an MC, uh, Timbo King and Dreddy Kruger. So those, so Dreddy was Jizz's Jizz's team. I signed Royal well, Family Wu Tang Records as well. Timbo King was actually a battle MC master. He used to go through New York eating MCs up. I right? ate up a lot of MCs. He didn't eat me up. I ate him up. All right? and we became friends. But I ate his ass up. But I seen him battle so many MCs and and embodied them. You know what I mean? And so when Wu Tang got on, um, um, he had a dope demo called. Uh, he had a demo where he was using all the vernacular from like ass cap. I put a cap in your ass, like he, right. Oh, <laughs> so, got you, got you. He had this it. song. It was kind of crazy, right? And, but but he but he never really that particular group. They appeared on our swarm, but they never really got a chance to to, to blow. But he was officially signed to Wu Tang, and then Wu Syndicate out of um, Virginia, um, Joe Mafia and uh, Maya Lansky. They came mm. in through my cousin Daddyo. So you notice on the first album, we you know Wu, we had a lot of family down in Virginia. Mm. You know, a lot of street homies. We had our first Wu Wear store, or our second or third Wu Wear store was right in Virginia. And this, these young brothers came out of there, so they was brought to me from from uh, Papa Ron and my and my and my cousin Daddy O. Uh, personally, I thought they was dope. I yeah. thought they had a big future. Right. I think what happened to with them is they they got kind of caught up in the web before they got a chance to shine. You know, what I mean, sometimes yeah. that happens. You know, you, just, you get a, you get a record deal, and you and you kind of get up there too fast right. before you even get what you're supposed to get. But they was officially signed to Wu-Tang Records too, yo. So Yeah, man. I mean, it seemed like you made it, RZA, and you were willing to help the guys that were asking for help is what it seemed like. Because I've known you for years, man, and I know that you travel the world too, man. And, and we were talking about it one time. I was just thinking, man, you just make the uh, Wu-Tang worldwide at this point, bro, because I'm sure every country you go to, People hand you demos, and and some of these cats got to be nice. I remember you told me a story. You were in Australia, and everywhere you went, you were like, man, there was some nice dudes out there, man. So going back in time, like now more people, Yellow Jackets, Black Knights, American Cream Team, uh, Brooklyn Zoo, CCF Division. I mean, dude, I'm looking at this list. of. Re- I just went through my record collection because when I saw this on, on uh, IG, when it kind of was like they don't know the story and they're kind of making fun of it in a sense, I'm like, bro, y'all don't know what this man had to go through to put these dudes on. 
I know what's so funny about it, Tech. Let me just say this real quick. Yeah. And, you know, people can make jokes because, you know, if you talk about drink champs, you, they, first of all, we drink, they drink and then we talking, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, I know, I know. They're a little drunk, and, I know, and, I know. And, 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 look, and Nori's, look, Nori's my man. I love, I love Nori, you know, him, Capone, their whole team out there, you know. After some good education from the Abbott and shit, it seemed like shit smoothing over. I don't know why it turned into no inside beef anyway and shit. That showed that shit pulled to show unity and shit. You know, feel me? Motherfuckers say something about the motherfucking Wu affiliates. Y'all pulled to stick together, ride out. You know, feel me? If that man wanted to take, if Killer Priest wanted to take the motherfucking apologies individually, why he can't do that? He a grown ass man. He ain't taking that shit all crazy. You know, feel me? Like, yo. You know what I mean? Like, like Shaheen wanted to go, go. You know, feel me? He turned it into some inside shit. So I'm thinking there was some shit going on before. You probably just wasn't feeling him and shit. You know, feel me? But uh, that shit seemed crazy. Got your unity and shit. Like the unity would have been crazy if all of us together, no beef. And you see how Ghost popped up, Ghost popped up and supported your young ball and shit. Then, boom. You know, feel me? You see how the Rizzo on there, and he's the motherfucking say. Like, niggas, they be mad all they want to and shit. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe I can't even say that because Rizzo not considered the Wu affiliate, so they ain't really say nothing about him. But he did come and explain shit so motherfuckers get no better before they motherfucking talk. You know, feel me? Because you definitely don't want to be saying nothing like that, calling niggas no funkies and all that shit. But you know, mistakes be made. Real men motherfucking admit to their mistakes, try making it right and shit. You can't motherfucking do nothing if everybody don't want to accept the apology over something and shit. It is what it is. Like, I extended the apology more than one time. You don't want to take it? Fuck you, I guess. Anyway, y'all know who to holler at. Your boy OGSB. This is another shizzy lit podcast. And you know I'm going to holler at y'all peoples later. I'm out. Yiddy. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. Everybody do me a favor. Go follow that shizzy lit podcast on your favorite streaming platforms. You dig me. Don't forget to follow my social media shizzy lit podcast around the board. So y'all can find out the next video on the next podcast. You dig me. Check out that speaker.com if you want to rock with me when I go live, you dig? And making these motherfuckers in the government believe a real nigga ain't handling this business. Now, if you ain't, you definitely pulled to be on the list going through the bullshit because you're a bullshit nigga. You feel me? Let your boy OG Shizzy Browser soothe your mind. Shout out to all the niggas in the city that be doing the squeeze joint or the corn. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit podcast. You dig me? Hey. You feel me?